Welcome back Troglodytes to another episode of Trogly's Guitars. Today we have a really cool one from 1981. This is a Gibson 335S Professional Deluxe in the rare silver burst finish. Ah yes, the 335S. This is a guitar I've been wanting to get my hands on for a long time because they've intrigued me. I've had the Pauls, I've had the SGs, but I've never been able to get a hand on one of these because they're a little bit more rare. So a little bit of backstory here. Uh, you know, late 70s, early 80s, Gibson started to make kind of the predecessor to the studio line. Uh, it's the the Pauls, the SGs, and they eventually switched that over to a brand called Firebrand, where they would uh, burn the logo on the headstock. Those are really fantastic guitars. But in the 80s, I think it was for like a year or two, maybe three, they did a solid body version of the ES-335. And this is what it looks like. They had the plain walnut looking ones, they had the deluxe, which was mahogany, and then they had the professional, which I believe is mahogany as well. Now Gibson reissued these in 2011, there was like 200 of them. And I did recently have one of those, but unfortunately it didn't make it to my YouTube channel. It was spray painted blue, I had scrubbed that all off, and I took it to the Chicago Guitar Show with me and it sold there. So unfortunately I can't make a comparison video, but I can tell you these originals are a million times better. Uh, that reissue, the body was like super heavy, but this one is a nice, fairly lightweight, well balanced is what I'm saying. And this one is in excellent condition. And this is the top of the line 335S. It is called the Professional. So without further ado, let's take a look at this guitar. So we'll start with the headstock here. Uh, the Professionals got the sweet mother of pearl Gibson inlay, and that's a must have for me. That's the only thing I didn't like about the, the Pauls is they didn't have this. So being able to get one of these with the mother of pearl logo, it just makes it feel so much better. Uh, as you can see, there are a few light nicks and dings. Uh, that's probably about the biggest one right there. And just average string change wear on this one. But overall, it is in good shape. It has the original truss rod cover. It's, it's just a good guitar. These came stock with a brass nut. And they have an ebony fretboard with dot inlays. The frets are in good shape. They show very minor wear and tear. Is actually a pretty good playing guitar. Professional Deluxe here came stock with a factory coil tap that the standards did not. This guitar is basically a mini 25 50th anniversary Les Paul because it almost has the exact same electronics. Uh, the 2550 had tar backs that were coil tapped, but these guys, they have the Tim Shaw stamp but I'm not exactly sure what they are. They might actually be Tim Shaw's with double leads. They have two leads coming out of them. Uh, one goes to the coil tap and one goes, you know, to the pot as usual. And what, what that does is that gives you kind of a stratty tone and it gives you a, your typical humbucker tone. To be honest, the stratty tones aren't the best. This was very early coil tapping so it's not as good as modern day coil tapping, but it definitely does give you some quirky tones. I'm not a huge fan, but it's nice to have the variety in case you need to do a Strat lick for some reason. Now this guitar is in great shape. I mean, as you're seeing, the Silver Burst hasn't aged that much. This is actually in really good condition. But you're going to see here, as we're going down, there's kind of some orange peel to the finish. Uh, we're talking in this area right here. You can see where it's kind of bubbled up a little bit. Uh, what this really looks like to me is like it got hot at some point in time. Maybe you can kind of see it a little bit. And the finish kind of bubbled. Because funnily enough, when I was scraping the spray paint off of that other 335S, that, that's kind of similar to what it looked like when I accidentally burnt the original finish. But you can see it kind of got a line of that as well right here but once again you can really only see that in the light so it will keep the price down a little bit so it can still be a player 
It did come stock with a TP6 tailpiece that has the fine tuners on it. They look pretty fancy. And it's just a pretty nice guitar in general. It sounds pretty good. And it looks like you have a, uh, a three-piece body on it. Onto the back of the headstock, there is a serial number. Uh, it is 8106152. Uh, it's very lightly stamped, but it is there. You have your original Gibson branded Schaller tuners. No major wear or tear to really speak of on the neck. You still have your Volute. Uh, that's, well, you got about a year left for Volutes. And you've got your neck here. Your neck does have some very light dings, kind of in this area. You can see where it's a little darker. But nothing too bad. And it looks like it is a, uh, a three-piece neck yet. You can kind of see the seams in the light if you look close. And the back of the guitar is in pretty good shape too. It still has the original uh, plastic over the back cavity. That can come off and it won't look as, you know, a little trashy as it does. But I thought, you know, for the collector value of this guitar, I'd leave it on and uh, let you guys decide if you want to leave it on or not. But you do kind of have a, a nice little ding there and just average wear and tear from light play. But overall, I mean, this, this guitar is in pretty good shape. It's really hard to find these, and finding one in this condition in the silver burst finish is quite a treat, really. As prices on these, since there were less of them made, fewer of them made, they're definitely a more expensive, uh, lower end Gibson, but these things play and sound just as good as the higher end Gibsons of the era. I've been a preacher for the Pauls and the SGs for a long time, especially the Pauls. But now that I've played one of these 335S's, I think if you like the 335 style, like you like this horn here that kind of keep you balanced, they are very nice guitars, and I like that you can get them in a fancier version for not too, too much more. But personally, I still prefer the Paul with Tim Shaw humbuckers, but this one, it's up there as well. This guitar weighs eight pounds, five and a half ounces, which for reference is about two whole pounds lighter than that reissue I had a week or so ago. We'll take a quick black light test here. Everything's good on the front of the headstock and everything is good on the front of the body. Here you can kind of see those orange peely areas a little bit more clearly, especially down there and there. I mean, no breaks, cracks, or repairs. I really don't think those are touch-ups of any kind. They're just kind of where the finish bubbled for some reason. Might have been it sat close to a heater and it bubbled. But overall, it is in good shape. Back of the headstock's in good shape. There you can see the serial number a little bit better. And you can see there's a little bit of lacquer wear towards the top. I'm guessing that's from rubbing against the case. You'll see that on a lot of these Case Queen guitars. As you can see, no breaks, cracks, or repairs to speak of. And the back finish is good as well. Take a quick look at the sides. And you'll see everything is good. It does come with its original case, which is in pretty good shape. You've got some light wear and tear on it, but overall, nothing too, too bad. You do have some tape in this corner. All the latches function just fine. They're actually kind of a different latch than I'm used to seeing, but I believe they are original. But these cases are really interesting. They are super padded. The guitar kind of really sits up high. The headstock is like all the way up here. But yeah, these are great cases. Now that we know what she looks like, let's hear how she sounds. <laughs>
tuning in troglodytes if you think you might be interested in owning this rare beauty feel free to contact me on my facebook page facebook.com slash troglies t-r-o-g-o-y-s you can also catch the listing on ebay or reverb we'll catch you next time bye <laughs>